Welcome to For Book Lovers Only Live Radio, where we discuss amazing books written by talented authors. For Book Lovers Only Live Radio is a proud member of the Village Connector Media Network. If you love books, we have a home for you. Now time for your host and chief book lover, Rob Brown. Greetings, book lovers and book fans. Thank you so much for joining us today for the inaugural broadcast of For Book Lovers Only Live Radio. My name is Rob Brown, your internet radio host and chief book lover, and we are so excited today to launch the first broadcast of this amazing show. We are broadcasting from downtown, sunny, exotic Laurel, Maryland. So happy to be here. Um, we are broadcasting through Facebook Live, and I believe we're also broadcasting through Periscope, so you can... Uh, get to this broadcast through those two mediums. Once again, my name is Rob Brown. Happy and honored and humbled that you are here to join us today. We have got an, a really great show lined up. We've got some amazing things that we're going to talk about uh, today. So stay tuned, stick around for a little bit, and uh, we'll get started. Uh, I wanted to start today um, by giving you first a little background information about myself. You're probably wondering, who is this guy? Who is this Rob guy? What is the show about? Who is he? Where did he come from? Uh, I'm originally from the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. I'm an attorney by trade. Uh, I did my undergrad at Michigan State. Go Green. Go Spartans. Did law school at the University of Iowa College of Law. Lived in the Chicago Chicagoland area for just a short while. Ended up coming back to the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area and have been practicing here ever since. I'm a proud member uh, of the D.C. Bar in good standing. Started practicing Around 2002, 2003, did that for a few years, got the entrepreneurial bug around 2009, and decided, you know, I wanted to start my own, my own business. Not necessarily a solo practice, but I definitely knew I wanted to be my own boss in some capacity. Now, one thing that you'll learn about me is I like to call myself a word nerd. Uh, I love words. I love to read text. I like to correct misspellings. I like to do uh, corrections of punctuate, punctuation and, and grammar. And I started a company called Precision Script in 2009, basically um, doing um, editing, copy editing, proofreading of manuscripts, helping out authors, assisting editors. I started that in 2009 at modest beginnings, didn't have quite the success uh, that I wanted to, but I was kind of trudging along. Fast forward to about 2012, I'm a heavy networker uh, by nature, and I met a gentleman by the name of Glenn Garns um, at a networking event in Crystal City, Virginia, I'll never forget. And, you know, very dynamic personality, really great guy. He and I had exchanged business cards, had a couple follow-up phone calls. I went out to his offices where then he was operating uh, in Linthicum, Maryland. Um, he and I had a few uh, conversations and I told him about Precision Script. I told him, you know, that I, I had a vision for what I wanted to accomplish and achieve for authors, um, but I wasn't quite able to ignite it the way I wanted it uh, to proceed. So he and I started whiteboarding, and started coming up some with, uh, with some ideas. Uh, initially, we had come up with an idea called the Writer Silo, and the Writer Silo was an idea where we were going to basically uh, teach authors and teach people who want to write books how to self-publish their books, how to write it, the entire process, basically uh, from soup to nuts, how to do everything uh, themselves. And we started to work on that, started to get some success with that, but then we basically pivoted, um, and I had come up with an idea, and I told Glenn that I thought that it would probably be more beneficial for authors and for the book-loving community in general if we sh sort of shifted gears and created a website in a business that uh, marketed the books of authors and that's how for book lovers only dot com uh, was born um, now during that time uh, through the writer silo and through for book lovers only I had a brief stint in the financial services industry great industry I didn't really have a passion for it and decided that I wanted to work full-time for myself and I want to work full-time for book lovers and for authors and thus for bookloversonly.com was born. We launched in May of 2015 
and have been growing and having success and more and more book lovers and authors interested uh, in what we're building here um, at For Book Lovers Only. Now, about the website, I want to talk to you a little bit about the website and what it offers for both book lovers and for authors. Uh, in a nutshell, ForBookLoversOnly.com is a community for book lovers to learn about new authors and to learn about new books. Now, we have a specialty we love here at For Book Lovers Only uh, and at Village Connector uh, Community. These are the media center that we're working out of. We love self-published authors. We like people with the entrepreneurial spirit. We like people who want to go out on a limb and say, hey, I'm going to take control of my future. So we work a lot with self-published authors. Now, don't get me wrong. We also work with traditionally published authors as well, but we find that self-published authors need a little bit more help with regards to their marketing and getting the notoriety and their name out there. So we have a particular interest and a particular pride in helping uh, self-published authors. Now there are two ways that you can get to the website. You can get to it through forbookloversonly.com. That's forbookloversonly.com. And you can also get to it through a shortened URL, F B L O N. Ly.com. That's FBLonly.com. And if you go to both of those URLs, they will take you directly to the website. So when you go there, whether it be for BookLoversOnly.com or you go through FBLonly.com, what will you see? We basically showcase great books uh, with their own pages. First of all, you go to the, fr the, the front page, the home page. Um, and you'll see a few sections there. We um, have a great template there. We have featured authors, small bios of our authors on the first page. We have featured releases uh, on our first page of new and exciting books that we have recently uploaded. Um, but when you start to do a search, let's say if you're into, for instance, and I'll just use today's example, children's books. And we're going to be talking about children's books today, particularly the ones that you see uh, in front of you right here. If you're looking for children's books, you will go to the upper right hand corner and click shop. And there's a drop down and you can choose children's books and you will see a variety of amazing children's books that I know you'll be interested in and want to purchase. Um, we have uh, books from a variety of different categories, um, personal development, children's books as I just mentioned, romance novels, biographies, uh, we have science fiction and fantasy, we have business books, we have mystery crime and thrillers, basically every conceivable genre of book that you know and that you love uh, is on the website. Um, and we really implore uh, book lovers to come, uh, come on the website and check us out. There are a lot of great authors that you might not know about that wrote some amazing books that you want to probably pick up a copy of. So, you know, we want you to come um, and visit the website. Now, specifically for book lovers, and, and this website is designed for the book lover, we actually have a Book Lovers Club, and we're really excited about the Book Lovers Club. Well, first and foremost, the Book Lovers Club, to join it, it's absolutely free. Um, there is no cost whatsoever, so you really have nothing to lose. Now, as a, for Book Lovers Only Book Club member, what do you get? You have the opportunity to participate in different contests for prizes, uh, free things that we're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away, you know, coffee mugs like this one. I'm going to be giving away books, free books. We're going to be giving away Starbucks uh, gift cards. Um, everything that we think a book lover would like, you know, at some point we're going to be giving it away in some sort of contest. Um, when you join the For Book Lovers Only book club, you will also be placed on a newsletter mailing list. Um, and I send out those newsletters from time to time. Don't worry, I'm not going to flood your inbox with a ton of newsletters. But, you know, once a month, you know, once every few weeks, I will send out a newsletter just talking about new books, new authors uh, that I've met, new books that I've learned about, um, different things that are going on in the book-loving community. Uh, we will be, you know, keeping you abreast and apprised of book signings, um, book festivals, author marketing events, uh, and we also have a section in our newsletter called Friends of FBLO. Now, basically, uh, we have uh, you know different strategic alliance partners, uh, people who have uh, a like mind and a passion to serve community and to serve humanity, and we want you to know uh, about these amazing people and their companies. So, we have a Friends of FBLO section in our newsletter. Uh, so, we have a variety of different things that are available. Uh, for our book lovers, and we really, really invite you to go on the website and join. And it's very easy. Once you go on the website, there will be a prompt that says, Join our Book Lovers Club. 
It's quite simple. You just throw in your name and your email address, hit enter, and you're automatically a member, and we will welcome you with open arms. And we're so excited uh, to invite more people into the For Book Lovers Only family. Now, if you are an author and you like the website and you want to get involved and you want to have your books listed on our website, uh, there is a icon at the top of the front page that says list your book. Go there and check it out. You know, we have a couple of packages for authors uh, that we offer that's very reasonable. Um, and we really take pride in focusing on getting you, the author, whether traditionally published or whether self-published, getting you in for, front of more book lovers who are in a position to purchase your book um, and just, you know, provide something good for the greater community. So if you are an author and you're interested in being showcased on our or on our website, please, you know, go to ForBookLoversOnly.com and go to list your book. A couple of other things that we have uh, about this website. Um, we have a frequently asked questions uh, page on the website, so go there if you have a couple of questions um, that you're like, hey, you know, you know, how does this how does this website differ from, let's say, an, an Amazon.com or a BarnesandNoble.com or Books a Million, which are all all great websites. They're great companies. Um, you know, we, we will never disparage any other companies. I think we just have a different focus and we do things a little differently here. Um, one of the things that we do differently here is uh, we actually interview authors on our television show. We have a television show that's also aptly named for book lovers only. And we have already interviewed, I want to say, between 17 and 20 authors of a variety of different genres. Um, we have interviewed them and talked to them about their, their process. You know, what is your writing process? What was your motivation behind uh, writing this book? You know, what, what types of, of manuscripts that you have in production? How can someone get on your mailing list? Uh, if they're interested in learning more about you and keeping up with you. So we have about, like, like I said, about 17, between 17 and 20 episodes already uploaded uh, on the, the website. So please go there and uh, check us out. Now, when you're looking for the books and you're on the website and you see a book that you like, many times that particular book page will not only give you an opportunity to purchase the book, and we have a link that says purchase this book so you can purchase the book directly from the website, we also have a, an opportunity for you to actually look at the television interview for that particular author. If that author has come into our television studios and interviewed, um, and I've, if I've interviewed them, we can actually put that interview on their page, on that book page, so you can watch the interview and, and garner even more interest in that author. Uh, and in that book. So, you know, this, this website is really unique in nature. And once again, it really focuses on the book lover and it focuses on the author. And our goal is to really bridge that, bridge that gap and strengthen that connection between the author and the book lover to serve the greater community. And we couldn't be more excited. We also have a YouTube channel uh, for book lovers only. If you go to our YouTube channel, uh, you can see all the episodes on our YouTube channel. You, su you can subscribe so that when we upload new and exciting interviews with amazing, talented authors, you will be notified first uh, and foremost. So be sure to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Uh, and one thing that is still in the, the early stages um, but is going to be increasing exponentially over the course of the next few weeks and months, we also have book trailers on our on our website we are so excited about that and for those book lovers out there um, who may not know what a book trailer is uh, normally many times when you go to the movies uh, before the actual main feature starts they will have trailers of upcoming movies well lots of authors are actually creating their own book trailers to give uh, more marketing power to their books and there are some really great book trailers out there there's one gentleman by the name of Josh Trant uh, who has uh, really done a lot of great work with book trailers. His company is called Front Rose Productions, and you're going to see a lot of his book trailers, uh, his authors, and the books that he's working on and, and the books that he's done book trailers on. You're going to see those on ForBookLoversOnly.com very soon, so stay tuned uh, for that. And now, you know, we have our Internet radio show. Um, we're planning on doing it weekly. Uh, now, the difference between the Internet radio show 
and the television show is for the television show we are going to be interviewing authors specifically is really going to be designed to give you the story behind the story uh, of the books and of the authors so you're going to hear it firsthand from those authors uh, about their books now with regards to the internet radio show we're going to have authors we're going to have book coaches we're going to have editors book publishers and book printers we're going to have uh, book trivia and heck we may even invite a few of you book lovers out there if you're interested to come into the studios and, and just talk about some books that you've seen on for book lovers only that you've read and that you've liked and we can just have a dialogue here uh, that's one of the things that we're, we're really proud of here at ForBookLoversOnly.com is, you know, we really want to get book lovers involved and we want to make them feel like they're a part of the family. Um, and that's one of the things that, you know, sometimes separates us from, you know, the, the larger companies. Sometimes you can get lost when you're dealing with those larger conglomerates. But here uh, for Book Lovers Only, we have a very warm, congenial family atmosphere and we want to invite as many of you book lovers out there to come in our studios, our radio studios from time to time, come visit and talk about some great books. So, you know, we'll be we'll be talking more about that uh, as the weeks uh, and months progress. Also on our radio show, we're going to be talking and keeping you uh, posted about author book signings, book festivals, you know, everything that has anything to do with books at some point we're going to cover here uh, on our radio show. And we couldn't be more excited. Um, you know, we're going to be discussing and highlighting a few books each broadcast. Um, today we have, as you can see in front of me, we have four great books written by three amazing authors. Um, and, and they are just they are just absolutely super authors. They're so talented. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the books, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the authors and how you can purchase these books. Um, you know, I'm also going to be reading a few pages from each of the books today as well. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to belabor it. Um, if you want to learn more about the books, uh, you know, we encourage you to go to the website and to purchase the book. But I want to give you a feel uh, for the book and for the author's writing style. So I'm just going to read a few pages uh, from each book. Now, one of the exciting things uh, that we have, you know, recently come up with, and we're going to kind of take it and run with, for the internet radio shows, at least for the first year, uh, each month we're going to highlight a different genre of book that we're going to basically focus on uh, for that particular month. Um, now, for the entire schedule, we already have it set up. Um, for each month, there's going to be a different genre. Uh, if you want to learn about, you know, what the next few months look like into 2018, please join my Book Lovers Club if you go to forbookloversonly.com. And in the next newsletter, I will give the full list. So you got to join the club in order to get the full list. That's one of the things about joining the club is you are able to get information that's not available to the general public and that's an incentive for you to join our family and become more involved in, in for book lovers only because we want you to be involved as a book lover but I'll give you the first couple of months just to kind of pique your interest February is children's book month and the reason why we came up uh, with children's book month in February is you know books when you think of books you think of children uh, you know, they are the groundswell for education. We want to make sure that we take care of the kids first uh, because they are the front lines for our future and we will make sure that they are well read and well educated. So we're starting with children's books for February. Now in March, because the, uh, the NCAA tournament is coming up and hopefully Michigan State will go very far, uh, we're going to be talking about sports and fitness books, and we're really excited. We're all, already fielding some books uh, and some sports and fitness authors that are starting to send their books in, and we can't wait to showcase their books in the month of March. Now, in April, April 22nd is Earth Day. So for April, we're going to be talking about books that deal with Earth, deal with the environment. We may have some gardening books, some authors come in uh, that do gardening. So that's going to be a really interesting month. And in May, May is Veterans uh, book month. And the reason why we did that was because obviously May is Memorial Day. Uh, we want to pay homage to the brave and valiant men and women who have worn the uniform of this great country in the armed services and given their lives uh, so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we do today. And, and it's the least that we can do to honor um, our fallen heroes uh, on the field of battle. We want to honor them. And we want to honor them by inviting veterans uh, into the studios. Uh, for May for Veterans Book Month. 
Now, for that particular month, these veterans are going to go uh, across the gamut with regards to the book genres. Um, some veterans may have written romance novels. Some may have written business books. Some may have written Western novels. We're just going to focus on the books of veterans in the month of May. Um, and for June uh, through the December, we have the schedule set. But once again, if you want to learn more about that, please join our book lovers club. Um, we also have full social media accounts that we're active on through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. Um, and whatever other social media networks are created, it seems like there's a new one each month. You know, we're going to be active on those, too, because we want to make sure that we cover all bases with regards to serving the community of book lovers and authors out there. And another thing that we're really excited about is our contests. We're going to be giving away a lot of free stuff to our book lovers uh, who are in the Book Lovers Club. Um, I think I mentioned earlier we're going to be giving away coffee mugs. We're going to be giving away free books. Uh, we're going to be giving away um, Starbucks cards so that when you're curled up with a book that you purchase from for book lovers only, you can enjoy a latte at the same time from Starbucks. We are going to be giving out tote bags, lots of good freebies, lots of goodies for those uh, who are an exclusive club. So we are really excited about what we're building here. And once again, we want to reiterate, we're building this for you, the book lover, because you deserve so much. And I want to take a quick station ID. My name is Rob Brown, your host and chief book lover. If you are just joining us, this is for book lovers only live radio, where if you love books, we have a home for you. Now, I want to start getting into our books. I want to get into um, the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be talking about today. We got four great books and three great authors. And, you know, these are authors that I recently, either I reached out to them or they reached out to me, but I had some great conversations with them and actually met them all through Facebook. And I'm going to give a quick shout out uh, about the Facebook group that I met them on because they deserve uh, a lot of credit because if it wasn't for this particular Facebook group, I wouldn't even know about these amazing authors. Um, our first author and our first book is Henry Meets Cappy the Lobster. Um, this is a really cute book. Uh, we really loved it. Um, let me go ahead and get some more information uh, about Henry Meets Cappy the Lobster. It's an amazing book. Um, now, Henry Meets Cappy the Lobster, it's a whimsical tale of a young boy who stumbles upon a very rare and very special blue lobster in a creek not far from his home. Cappy has unique abilities unlike any other lobster. The two quickly forge a friendship and unbreakable bond that will lead them on different adventures that further strengthen their relationship. And as you can see, this is the cover of the book. Um, it's a really nice book. It's it's not that long a read. It's a short read, but it's uh, it's about it's it's a little under 25 pages, but it's really great. Um, I'm going to read uh, a couple of pages uh, from this book just so you can get a feel um, for what the author uh, is telling to the reader. He stayed out of sight for a very long time, just watching the lobster dance and play. But he had so many questions he wanted to ask, like. How did it get here? Does it belong to anyone? How is he able to speak and dance the way he does, for he had never seen anything like this in his life? Granted, he was still a small boy, but really a singing, dancing lobster? Henry just had to find out. He decided to approach with caution. The last thing he wanted to do was to scare him. As he approached the lobster, Henry lost his footing, slipped on some wet leaves, and slid straight into a creek. Boy, talk about making an entrance. This startled the lobster, and he scurried behind some rocks. So already, I know you're really interested, and you probably want to pick up a copy of this book. Um, it's, it's, once again, it's, a, it's an amazing read. Um, Lisa has done a phenomenal job uh, in, in really bringing this story uh, to life. Um, and Lisa draws inspiration from her family, uh, specifically her nephew Henry and her nieces, Victoria and Maggie. So Henry, Victoria, and Maggie, uh, if you're watching, hi. Uh, welcome to For Book Lovers Only Live Radio, and we're hoping that you uh, are enjoying the broadcast. Now, Lisa's lifelong dream was to be an author, and she's done a great job of achieving her dream. Um, she likes to bring a child's imagination to life by helping them to travel to new worlds so that they can be creative, imaginative, and free thinkers. Uh, this book, Henry Meets Cappy the Lobster, is available 
on ForBookLoversOnly.com. Please uh, go check it out. If you go to the website, you look at Shop, click down Children's Books, and it's right there. And uh, it's a great book. It's a great read. And I want to implore people who are watching, even if you don't have children, you know, you can buy one of these books or buy a couple of these books, and you can donate them to your local library, your local elementary school. Anything that we can do to help out the kids with regards to their reading and their literacy skills, you definitely want to look into it. So, you know, make sure that you go to the website and pick up a copy of Henry Meets Cappy the Lobster. Lisa, thank you so much. Great job. Our second book is Raffi and Friends, The Lunch Box Mystery. Uh, this is a great book. It's so cute. I really, really like this book. Um, one of the things about this book I really like is uh, the, the illustrations in this book. Um, the illustrations was by Amy Rodinger, and she did a great job. Now, this is a book by Valerie Irene, and I'll tell you a quick story about um, how I got connected with Valerie Irene in just a moment. Now, Raffi and Friends, The Lunchbox Mystery, is based on four stuffed animals that the author owns, two of which she had since her childhood and are possibly about 47 years old. The book shows children how the various aspects of individuals come together as a group to solve the problem of finding Raffi's missing lunchbox. Um, it, is, it, is such, uh, it is such an intriguing book, and I'm going to show you, get a close-up of, uh, of the book cover. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit uh, from this book. It's so cute. There was no lunchbox and no grilled cheese sandwiches, so they went back and sat under the tree, out of breath from running around. Oe oh, saw his three best friends sitting under the tree. Hi, Raffi. Hi, Marlon Monroe. Hi, Tori. Why are you out of breath? Oe oh, asked. Hi, Oe, oh, Tori replied. We've been running around looking for Raffi's lunchbox with his delicious grilled cheese sandwiches inside and can't find it anywhere. What you need, Oe oh, told them, is a plan to help you find the lunchbox. A plan will help you search wisely so you don't run around and get out of breath. Let me think for a minute. After a couple of minutes, Oe took out his little writing notebook to take some notes. Let me ask you some questions to help you think about where the lunchbox may be, he said. Raffi, Tori, and Marlon Monroe smiled and nodded their heads in agreement. They retired from running around and knew that Oe was wise and could help them find Raffi's lunchbox. So it looks like they are deep in a search for Raffi's lunchbox, and it goes from there. Great book. Great book. Valerie Irene did a phenomenal job of, of writing that book. Um, a little bit about uh, Valerie. I actually met her um, o online. Uh, I met her through uh, Renee Brown. Now, Renee Brown uh, is another children's author. She wrote a book called The Big Rig Kids, and that's a book um, we're going to be uh, talking about next next Sunday um, in our next broadcast. And Renee is actually going to be our first in-studio author. I'm really excited about having her. But I started an initial conversation with Renee. And from Renee, she had she and I started to work together and I invited her to join the For Book Lovers Only family. Renee had referred me to Valerie and then Valerie and I got in contact and then invited her to be a part of the For Book Lovers Only family as well. Now, Valerie is a local author, local to us in Laurel, Maryland. This book allows her to release her creative spirit. This book also is entirely self-published, uh, and, and I want to stress that. She did a great job of, of self-publishing these books, um, her book. And one of the things that, that, that I had mentioned earlier, we really like to work with self-published authors, uh, you know, Valerie didn't wait you know, to say, hey, you know, I need to get, you know, a publisher to publish my book or I need to get a literary agent. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The traditional publishing route is absolutely great. But there are other ways that you can get your book published if you want to be a published author. And she decided to, you know, take the plunge and become a self-published author and was tremendously successful um, in getting Raffi and Friends the Lunchbox Mystery self-published. Um, it is also available on the website. You can pick up a copy at forbookloversonly.com. Uh, once again, just go uh, to the shop uh, page and you know, drop down to children's books, and you can find uh, a copy of her book. So go ahead and uh, try to get a copy of that today. Valerie, great job. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work, and we're looking forward to more books from you. Now, the final two books was written by the same author. Um, she is a very talented author. She wrote two books, um, Easy Eight, A Bull's View, and Easy Eight, The Big Event. Um, and we are so excited 
uh, about these two books. Um, it, it's it's really cool because um, I'm going to show the uh, the cover of the first book, um, A Bull's View. These books are written from the point of view of the bull. Uh, and I really thought that that was uh, incredibly interesting, uh, her perspective and the way that she wrote the books. And they're, they're very well-written books. And I'm going to read a few pages from each. Now, this is Easy 8, A Bull's View. I'm okay. The only thing damaged is my pride. Imagine getting slimed by a bull, states the cowboy as he stands up and dusts his hat off. Next up is Freckles. He is a huge black bull with a white face and little black freckles across his face. He is standing patiently in the chute, waiting for the cowboy to get ready. The chute opens, and Freckles turns to the right as he breaks into a spin. He ends the spin as he starts bucking. Back and forth he goes. The cowboy is holding on. The whistle blows. The cowboy makes the eight-second ride. You know I just gave you that ride, don't you, cowboy, Freckles says, taunting the cowboy. Freckles turns to the bullfighters. He puts his head down and starts pawing at the ground. I'm giving you fair warning, fellas. It's showtime he says as he charges the bullfighters, sending them running in all directions. After a few minutes of chasing the bullfighters, Freckles exits through the awaiting gate, swinging his tail as he goes in total bull fashion. This book really sounds awesome, and it's, it's great the way Carolyn describes the book. She is uh, a big fan of professional bull riders. Uh, Carolyn Foster hails from Northeast Oklahoma in Locust Grove. Uh, she and her husband raise cattle, um, consequently, and she, once again, she's a big full fan of professional uh, bull riders, and she decided to write some books um, about, uh, about bull riding. And she describes uh, her books as humor, action, attitude, and of course, <laughs> lots of dirt. Uh, and she's written some great books. So uh, Easy 8, A Bull's View is also available on ForBookLoversOnly.com. Make sure you pick up a copy because it is a great read. And the second book that she wrote is Easy 8, The Easy Eight, the Big Event. And these books, I believe that, that they're connected because they're both um, about about bull riding, and this is another great book. And the reason why this is this book is so unique is because we actually have the trailer for this book up on the website. So when you go to to buy, to purchase this book, there's actually a 15 second trailer uh, about this book on the website, and it's really cute. I think you'll really get uh, a kick out of watching it. So in this book, I'm going to read a couple of of pages as well. The Native American bull, Black Eagle, is next in the shoot. He's a black bull with large horns. Howdy, cowboy. We are going to soar with the great eagle and feel the wind in our hair. How do you like the wind-blown look? asks Black Eagle. The cowboy nods and the gate opens. Black Eagle comes out of the chute bucking. He suddenly takes a mighty leap, slinging his head back and forth in midair. He lands on his front feet. As his back feet hit the ground, he pushes his hips back up while slinging the cowboy to the side of his head. Black Eagle's horn catches the seat of the cowboy's jeans and makes a huge rip. He also tears the cowboy's shirt sleeve before the cowboy staggers to the ground. Black Eagle looks at the cowboy and says, That's the windblown look I was talking about. Oops, look like we have an undies alert too. <laughs> he takes his victory lap around the arena and exiting with one last kick. Wind Talker is another Native American bull on tour. He's a white bull with black specks all over his body and small horns. He's in the chute, ready to go. The great spirit has given us his blessing for this ride. We will do this with honor, Wind Talker tells the cowboy. The cowboy calls for the gate to open. Wind Talker explodes out of the chute, bucking and spinning with all his might. The cowboy goes jump for jump. He holds on to his bull rope, determined to make the eight-second ride. The whistle blows. The cowboy makes his dismount and lands on his feet. Wind Talker bows to the crowd before he exits the arena. So... Once again, Carolyn has done uh, a fantastic job of really capturing, you know, the point of view of these bulls uh, in these, these these bull riding sessions. Uh, and you know, she pursued her passion. You know, she loves professional bull riding and said, "Hey, I'm going to write I'm going to write a few books uh, about uh, bull riding." And not only going to do that, but she also 
uh, has a really wonderful trailer uh, for her books, um, well, for one book. And, you know, hopefully we'll see more book trailers from her and more future books from her. Carolyn, thank you so much. We look forward uh, to working with you, uh, continuing to work with you, and continuing to tell everybody about your amazing books, Easy 8, A Bull's View, and Easy 8, The Big Event. Thank you all so much. Now, I want to take a quick moment to actually thank the Facebook group um, that uh, I found uh, Carolyn, uh, Valerie, and Lisa on. If it wasn't for this Facebook group, I, you know, I never would have found them. Um, the Facebook group is Great Storybook, Authors and Illustrators of Children's Books and YA. And I believe YA probably stands for Young Adults. So it's Great Storybook, Authors and Illustrators of Children's Books and YA, young adults. So thank you uh, to the administrators of that Facebook group. You guys are doing a great job of giving uh, children's uh, book authors and children's books more exposure. So keep up uh, the great book, the great work. Um, now I want to go, uh, you've all been waiting for our first book contest. We are going to have our first contest right here and right now. And I want to let you know that this contest is only open to uh, our book lovers who are a part of our book lovers club, who have joined uh, our book lovers club. So make sure that you go on the website and join our For Book Lovers Only book club uh, and you can become an exclusive book lovers book club member. Now here's the contest. Now the first four book lovers club members who send me an email and I'll give you my email address in just a moment. If you send me your uh, send me an email saying, "Hey Rob, I love the books. Thank you so much. You know, looking forward to you know hopefully being a winner." The first four, I'm basically going to send you these books for free. I'm going to send you the first uh, email that I get from the first book club book member. I'm going to give them the Henry meets Cappy the Lobster book. The second email that I get from the Book Lovers Book Club member, I'm going to give them Raffi. The third book um, that the uh, that I'm going to give out to the third book club member who sends me an email, I'm going to give them a Bull's View. And the fourth email that I get uh, from the uh, for Book Lovers Only Book Club member that sends me an email, I'm going to give them Easy Eight the Big Event. So I'm going to give away all f four of these books absolutely for free. Uh, to our book lovers that are in uh, our book lovers club. So once again, it's even more of an incentive to join our book club uh, so you can start winning some free prizes. Now, there's actually more. I'm actually going to be giving out more. So if you are a winner and you get the book, I send you the book. If you take a picture of you holding the book and smiling and you send that picture back to me with a couple of sentences about why you love that book so much, I am going to feature you in our upcoming newsletter, and because of that, I'm also going to send you a free $5 Starbucks gift card. That's it. I'm giving away free books, and for those who send me pictures of them holding their brand new free book with a little description of you know why they love the book, I'm also going to give you a free Starbucks gift card for $5 so you can enjoy a nice latte or a, or a cup of tea. So. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to really cater to the book lover here. Uh, we're going to be giving away some free prizes. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Rob, I want to participate in this contest. Like, what's your email address? My email address is, and you know, I'm going to say this a couple times because I'm going to make sure you get this right. It's rob at forbookloversonly.com. I'll say it again and I'll say it slower. Rob at for, F O R, BookLoversOnly.com. That's Rob at ForBookLoversOnly.com. If you have joined my Book Lovers Club and you want to participate in the contest, send me an email. Just say, Hey, Rob, you know, love the books. Hope I'm a winner. And if you're one of the four, the first four, uh, you will be a winner. Um, and if for some reason uh, you're not one of the first four, uh, keep trying. I'm sure you're going to win. Uh, one of our amazing gifts at some point um, in the future. So, you know, make sure you join our For Book Lovers Only book club and make sure that you uh, participate and get involved. Um, I, I think I'd also mention, I don't know if I did or not, forgive me if I, if I didn't, but we're also going to be including book trivia uh, from time to time uh, on our internet radio show. And I want to start out with a little book trivia uh, today as we wrap up the broadcast. Um, 
in 2000, in the year 2000, and you know this, I know this is a little dated. I, I think this is still up to date, but we can check on that. But in the year 2000, Publishers Weekly released lists of the best-selling children's books of all time. Now, the best-selling hardcover book, children's book of all time, is the Pokey Little Puppy, which I'm, I'm sure you know if, if you love children's books. Um, you probably have heard of this book. I, I've heard of this book. I've read it many times when I was a kid. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, but it is the number one best-selling hardcover children's book of all time. And the number one best-selling paperback children's book of all time is, yes, you might have guessed it, Charlotte's Web, which we probably at one point or another, everybody watching this broadcast had to read Charlotte's Web uh, in elementary school. So just a, a bit of book trivia for you. Um, and who knows, you know, maybe a couple of years down the road, one of these books uh, will overtake Charlotte's Web as the number one uh, best-selling uh, paper book children's uh, book of all time. They're certainly worthy of it. They're certainly of amazing caliber and, and just wonderful books. So uh, Charlotte's Web and Pokey Little Puppy, you know, you, you might get knocked off your throne uh, by one of the books here from our amazing offers on for bookloversonly.com. So, you know, we'll keep you posted. Now, as I wrap up the broadcast, uh, we're just almost out of time. I want to give uh, a few acknowledgments um, to all those who were able to make for bookloversonly.com this broadcast, a television show, um, and this radio show, everything uh, possible. First, I want to thank God who was, you know, able to create everything and, and able to give me the, the inspiration uh, to and have the courage to come out and serve the book lover uh, and the author. So I want to give uh, honor to God first and foremost. I want to thank my wonderful parents um, who have always been with me every step of the way. Dad, if you're watching, uh, you know you've always been my rock and my hero. I love you very much. And, uh, you know, I know that, um, you know, you're, you're probably watching right now. And I know you're beaming from ear to ear. And I just want to thank you for all the love and support that you've given me. And for those of you who know me um, and those of you who are just learning about me today, uh, many of you might know that I lost my mom uh, last April. Um, she was the most amazing, beautiful, sensitive, sweet woman, the most courageous, strong woman, strong person for that matter that I've ever met. And my mom is always near and dear to my heart. I know she's looking down from heaven um, and smiling as well. So, Mom, I love you. Uh, I'm dedicating this first show to you, uh, and I'll never forget you and you'll always be in my heart and you'll always be in my mind and my spirit. I also want to thank Glenn Garns, um, my friend, my mentor, my brother, uh, who has you know, built these wonderful radio studios, who has built the Village Connector and, and what it is today and what it's going to be in the years down the road. Um, thank you so much for helping me to, you know, get my vision uh, the way that it needs to be in order to serve community and to serve humanity. Uh, I'm so happy to have you um, in my family, uh, in my network, and I'm looking forward to many projects, you know, even above and beyond for Book Lovers Only if we decide to, to do some other things. I'm sure we're going to come up with some more ideas uh, and some more things to just serve people because we both have a love of people and we both have a love of community. So, Glenn, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And last but not least, I want to thank my amazing social media director, Robin Lyons. Um, Robin was introduced to me by Glenn, and she has done a phenomenal job of just keeping everything in order with regards to my social media. She has been uh, fielding all of the uh, books that come in from the authors when they send their books uh, to the Village Connector Studios here in Lower Maryland. She gets them. She keeps me apprised. She's doing a tremendous job of, of running the television and radio studios. And, you know, her reputation is absolutely above reproach. She's doing a phenomenal job. And, Robin, I know you're in the other control room watching and making sure everything is set. Thank you so much. And for all those uh, authors out there and any business owners or anything, if you're out there and you're looking for some one to help you with your social media, you know, also email me at rob at forbookloversonly.com and I will uh, put you in um, connection. I will uh, get you connected with Robin um, and she is a phenomenal resource. I'm sure that she can help you as much as she is helping me. So Robin, uh, thank you so much. Now we're, uh, we're about out of time. Uh, once again, um, if you're, if you're just tuning in, uh, 
we're about out of time. So um, you, 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 even though you missed the live broadcast, you can watch it in perpetuity. It's on uh, our Facebook pages, and we're going to be blasting out to our network. Um, so thank you uh, so much for, for joining late. But, you know, the broadcast is being recorded, so it's not like you can't watch it uh, in the future. So thank you all for joining me today. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. These four books – Go to the website, pick up a copy for your kids, for your uh, elementary school that your kids may go to, to your local library. It's never, never a bad idea to purchase a book, whether for yourself, for your someone in your community, or for someone in your family. Go to the website, pick up a copy, and enjoy a good read. Be sure to join us next week at For Book Lovers Only Live Radio at 3.30 p.m. next Sunday. I believe it's going to be Sunday the 19th. We're going to have some more books, some more great children's books. We're going to have some great authors that we're going to be talking about. And we're going to be talking with Renee Brown, who's actually going to be in our studios live uh, next week. And we're really excited about having her. She's going to tell us about the Big Great Kids and some great things that she is doing um, with her book and, and other endeavors that she's involved with. So we're really excited about having her. We are out of time. Thank you so much. This has been fun. My name is Rob Brown, your internet radio host and chief book lover. And this is for book lovers only live radio. And remember, if you love books, we have a home for you. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next time.